Welcome, welcome, welcome to tonight's Texas Association for College Admissions Counseling Virtual College Fair. We have an awesome lineup of institutions for you to hear from this evening, but first I have some housekeeping items. So first, this is a webinar, so your camera and your microphone are not, or they're off, um, so our panelists cannot see or hear you. But we know that you, you're going to have some questions for our panelists tonight. So at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a Q&A button where you can put your question. I would, I would ask you to list your question and then also note the college or university that you're directing the question at so that they can answer appropriately. Um, next, sign up for more sessions. There's two hours after this. Um, it's a great way to learn about colleges and universities, so you'll have the opportunity to sign up for more. There's also more happening tomorrow, so please feel free to go back to that same website where you registered and registered for some more. Don't worry, um, this is going to go fast, but it's going to be filled with great information, and so tonight's program is being recorded, and so within a week of tonight's program, you'll be able to, to see it back on to, to play it back um, automatically from that same website where you um, where you signed up. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our panelists. First up, I have the opportunity to introduce to you Austin College. Hello, everybody. My name's Hank Ewart. I'm executive director of admission at Austin College. Uh, I'm in my sixth year with the college after a long career as a teacher and college advisor. Um, and uh, I always wanted to see things from the college side and Austin College has given me that opportunity, which has been wonderful. So it's my pleasure to briefly describe Austin College, which is a national liberal arts college located in Sherman, Texas, about half an hour north of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, about an hour from the center of Dallas. The location combines the, the calm setting for college campus with the uh, nearby opportunities of one of the largest metro areas in the United States. <clears throat> Let's share my screen if I'm able to. Okay. Right. The cornerstone of Austin College over its 170 year history is academic quality. The college offers excellent programs across the academic spectrum with unusual strength in sciences. And this is in fact is the science building at Austin College, the Idea Center. It's the largest academic facility and it includes, uh, as you can see, it's a little bit left to center there, uh, the third largest research observatory in Texas. Um, the college has uh, a long tradition of outstanding results with graduate schools and professional schools related to the sciences, um, especially known for admission to medical school and other healthcare pathways. Uh, however, the humanities, social sciences, uh, and business programs at Austin College are equally robust, and the overall acceptance rate to graduate and professional school is over 90% year in, year out. <clears throat> A core value of Austin College is to connect your academic and intellectual experience to the world beyond the college. Uh, and it, let me just give you a key example of that. About two thirds of our students have an academic experience for credit outside the United States, which according to the Institute for International Education makes us one of the colleges in the United States with one of the highest international rates of participation. Equally important are our students work in advanced research and academically oriented internships. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another distinctive point about Austin College is the college's outstanding four year graduation rate, which year in year out is over 90% among students who choose to, who don't transfer to other colleges. Um, and it's enabled Austin College to implement a finish in four guarantee. So if the student does his or her part for four years and ends up needing a credit or two to graduate, Austin College will pick up the tab for those credits. Um, moving on to campus and community life, um, um, Austin College is extremely diverse by any measure of diversity, whether it's racial, socioeconomic, cultural, spiritual, social, political outlook, we have tremendous variety. But really my favorite thing about Austin College is the way that all that diversity melds into one 
connected and supportive community. Students care about each other and celebrate each other's success. It's a place where people do their work, they're serious, they know why they're in college, but it's not a pressure cooker. Uh, the campus is the hub of life 24 seven. You're really in a residential educational community. Uh, it's not a place that empties out on the weekends and there is a wealth of activities, organizations and events on campus. Austin College plays intercollegiate sports in the NCAA at the division three non-scholarship level. We offer nine women's sports and nine men's sports. And a few years ago, we became the first college in Texas to offer full intercollegiate water polo, one distinctive thing. Um, moving on to admission and financial aid and scholarships. Our admission process is truly holistic. We read every word in every file. Um, our emphasis is on both the student's academic promise for college and their character. Um, also, Austin College has been test optional for four years. We were test optional well before the COVID circumstance forced most of American higher ed to consider moving to that process. Uh, and we're very comfortable with working without SAT or ACT scores. We offer very substantial academic scholarships. Uh, they range from $18,000 to $31,000 per year, um, automatically renewed for the four-year career. We have a variety of other smaller merit-based scholarships related to particular interests or, or talents. Um, and we also do a tremendous amount with need-based financial aid. Our financial aid process begins with the FAFSA, and we also supplement all the public money, federal and state aid, with a lot of Austin College's own resources. If you were to combine our merit aid budget with our need-based aid budget every year at Austin College, that would be the single biggest budget line item illustrating our commitment to helping with the funding and keeping costs from being a reason why a student chose not to enroll at Austin College. If you are a motivated student who seeks a great education and a great overall college experience, the way it's an experience that really exemplifies what college should be, you should consider Austin College. I look forward to working with you. Thank you. Thanks so much, Hank, to you and Austin College. Next up, I have the privilege to introduce to you Southern Methodist University. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Kendall Dacey, and I am an Assistant Director of Admission at SMU. Um, I only have a few minutes today to tell you about the wonderful opportunities available at SMU. So I definitely encourage you to continue to learn more by visiting campus or checking out our website um, or even exploring social media kind of after today's presentation. Um, and to start off, I love to talk about my favorite part of SMU, which is our campus community. Um, as a university, we really want you to feel like you belong here. And I think that SMU's close-knit community really puts undergraduate students at the center of the entire institution. Um, and so Southern Methodist is an institution where you will develop lifelong friendships, as well as important relationships with faculty and staff um, and career connections that will really propel your future. And part of that is our location in Dallas. And so our connections throughout the city really help our students take advantage of their new home for their four years in college. Um, although we are located in one of the nation's largest cities, our campus is a few miles away from downtown Dallas. And so you'll really have access to all the different cultural and career opportunities that living in a major city provides, um, such as social life, internships, um, post-graduation jobs, outdoor activities to explore and more. Um, and so at SMU, you'll get the best of both worlds by, by going to school in an urban city, but you'll still have that, you know, quintessential college experience on a beautiful campus. And while, while you will have that big city experience in Dallas, your home at SMU will provide a much more personalized and intimate environment. Um, being a medium-sized private institution, our students really benefit from small class sizes and incredible access to faculty. Um, and that is going to help them kind of build those relationships and develop you know, their intellectual curiosity in the classroom. Our average class size is about 22 students, which is probably similar to you know, what, might you, what you might have in high school. And overall, we have 6,700 undergraduates on campus um, with each incoming class being roughly 1,600 students. 
And so it's really the perfect mix of a small community with larger resources and a lot of spirit. And so I like to say that SMU is small enough that you know, you'll always see a friendly face if you're walking across campus, um, but it's large enough that you will consistently be meeting new people as well. And so moving on to academics, we have over 100 different majors and about 85 different minors for undergraduates to choose from, and they are spread across our five different colleges and academic schools. Um, the first and oldest is our Dedman College of Humanities and Sciences. This is kind of our, our liberal arts college. It's home to all of the social sciences, natural sciences, um, the humanities, as well as um, like our mathematics department, it's kind of the main core of the university. And then we have the Lyle School of Engineering, um, the Simmons School of Education and Human Development, which is both our educational studies and then our sport management and applied physiology programs. Um, our Cox School of Business is home to kind of all business related majors such as marketing, finance, um, accounting, things like that. And then our Meadows School of the Arts, which is broken down into the visual and performing arts and the communication arts. Um, and at SMU, what's kind of unique is that you can double or triple major across any of the schools, or you can have you know, a major in one school and a minor in another. Um, it's very, very flexible, and students are really encouraged to pursue the path that aligns with their interests. So you do have a lot of flexibility in you know, creating the academic pathway that you want. Um, and then you also will have until the end of your sophomore year to declare your major. So you can always change your mind and kind of test things out if you want to. Um, and then beyond the classroom, many students continue their learning through research on campus, internships, um, independent study or projects, as well as experiential learning opportunities. And being in a major city really only expands those options for you so that you can actually gain kind of that hands-on career or educational experience as well. And then beyond the classroom, our students have a really wonderful work-life balance and we encourage them to make the most of their college experience. There are so many ways to get involved that most students are actually in like three to four separate activities during their time um, at SMU. And so not only do we have over 200 different student organizations on campus, but we have a ton of different options for students. Um, you can get involved in Greek life, community service, academic clubs, study abroad, um, religious life, research, athletics, kind of anything that you want. Um, and then we also have division one athletics. And so students have that kind of big school spirit that typically accompanies those larger division one schools and our students love and in our alumni love to participate in something called boulevarding, um, which is a tradition where students, staff and alum, alums all gather together on the SMU Boulevard, which is you know, my background behind me. Um, and they have cookouts, they play music and they have like little um, get togethers before the big games on the weekends. Um, and during your first week on campus, you'll actually get to learn about all of the different organizations and how to get involved. And then not only are students involved in campus organizations, but they are also actively involved in residential life during their first two years at SMU. Um, so we have a residential common system where students have this built-in community through their first year residence hall. There are tons of traditions, events, activities that go on. Um, and then after their first two years, they can then uh, move off campus and experience the city of Dallas as a resident. Um, and so I know that this was a really quick introduction to SMU, but I hope that it was helpful and that you learned something about our institution. Um, I definitely encourage you all to apply. All of that wonderful information is going to be on our website. Um, and then we also have longer virtual info sessions available for you as well to attend. Thanks so much, Kendall, to you and Southern Methodist University. Um, before I introduce our next school, I'd like to remind everyone how to put questions in the Q&A. So list your question and then make sure you also um, indicate the college in which you're addressing your quest question to so they know how to um, appropriately respond. Next up, I have the opportunity to um, introduce to you Southwestern Adventist University. All right. Hello, everyone. Would you like to know where you belong? You belong where you're the absolute happiest. See, if you're looking to get away from home, but not out of Texas, 
then we're a good fit for you. And if you're looking to be at a people loving Christian school, then we're a good fit for you. And if you don't mind a vegetarian and vegan only cuisine, oh, we're a good fit for you. <laughs> Check this out. At Southwestern Adventist University, we have a very diverse campus. Now, I know every school says that, but we're small enough to where it's actually noticeable. <laughs> we're pretty affordable for a private university. Now, I know you've probably heard that private schools will cost uh, your third child and perhaps your left kidney, but here it's not true, <laughs> all right? It's really affordable. We may not be exactly what you think you want in a university, but we just might be what you need. My name is Veladi, and I'm an enrollment counselor at Southwestern Adventist University, and you, should definitely ask me about a free application. Right, let me break this thing down for you, okay? I'm gonna show you how easy it can be, all right? First things first, you simply need to apply with at least a 2.75 GPA or higher. Check this out, I made this sign for you so you can actually see that right there, all right? Pose for a, for a screenshot. All right, minimum 2.75 GPA or higher, and boom, you're going to get accepted, all right? It's that easy. You don't need to wait. We don't need you to write a book about your life. I'm sure it's amazing, all right? <laughs> Just send us your transcript, and that's all there is to it. That was easy. I know. <laughs> all right, now, listen, it's not hard. Now, let's just talk about easy money, right? See, if you've held any leadership positions in high school, like, like a class officer or club president, that's $4,000 in scholarships that you qualify for, or what we call the leadership scholarship. Or let's say you've held a leadership position outside of high school, right? Like in church or perhaps Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, that's still $4,000 that you qualify for. Just have your sponsor send us an email saying, I was there, I saw it, it happened, they did that. And boom, you've got the scholarship, all right? Minus the dramatic explosion there. But if you want to find out if you qualify, just hit us up. Just call us at this number right here. Right here. Can you see that? 817-202-6794. All right? That was easy. I'm just saying that. <laughs> it's not supposed to be complicated, really. Let's talk more money, right? If you have anything between a 2.75 and a 3.95 or higher, you qualify for scholarships anywhere from $8,000 to $32,000 in merit scholarships. And if you call us and tell us what your GPA is, we can tell you exactly how much money in scholarships you can expect. And no, you don't have to apply for these scholarships, all right? That was easy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is what I do, all right? And guess what else? Incoming freshmen get a $3,000 boost. And that's right. I said that a $3,000 boost, and you don't have to apply, all right? As long as you're an incoming freshman from the following states, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, New Mexico, or Oklahoma, you qualify, all right? And just don't forget to make your commitment deposit, right? It's a $100 commitment deposit. You make that by May 1st, and you lock it in, and all that money is yours. It's not, oh, wow, that came down a little faster than I expected, but <laughs> it's literally, that it's that easy. That's what I'm saying, all right? So it's simple, all right? You want to be a nurse. Let's say you want to be a nurse. Great, because that actually happens to be one of our top programs here. According to Niche, we have one of the top 25 nursing programs in the state of Texas, 21 to be exact. <laughs> Think it's too hard to get into nursing, right? It's probably a little difficult. Um, you only need a 3.0 minimum to get accepted into the program. And get this, incoming freshmen, that have a 3.5 GPA or higher, you are guaranteed into the nursing program. And did, did I mention that we're a small school? I think I did, I did, right? So guess what that means? That means that competition to get into the nursing program is not ridiculous, right? As well as every other program. <laughs> that was easy. I know, it's, it's that simple. It's not supposed to be complicated, all right? Let's say you're interested in communication. Maybe radio, TV, film, right? Not bragging, but, but bragging a little bit. We win stuff, right? Like, by stuff, I mean two Emmys for short animated films, and we want more, all right? So we're going to need your skills for that, definitely, all right? So I need you to understand this. Getting into college with no sense of purpose 
it hurts, all right? It hurts emotionally, it hurts financially, and we don't want that for you. That's why we have a department dedicated to make sure that your major is really what will get you into your dream career. So just call us and find out if your major is right for you. That sounded like a really, that sounded like a commercial, right? But listen, it's literally that easy, okay? So what are you waiting for? Just apply already. You're probably sitting on your couch trying to multitask being on your phone and watching me try my hardest to help you to live your absolute best life. I mean, come on, what have you got to lose? Really? Really? <laughs> you know what? If you call us right now, you call us this week, this week, any week, really, your application is going to be free. Again, that number is 817-202-6794. Boom, it's that easy. That was easy. That's what I'm saying. It really is. And guys, we want you to be great. So you go ahead and you chase your dream and you become the best person that you can be. And we'd love for you to come here and help allow us to be that launching pad for you. All right? You guys take care. Wish you the absolute best. Go be great. Awesome presentation. Wow, we've already heard from three great institutions and we still have several to go. So next up, you're gonna have the opportunity to hear from Texas Wesleyan University. All right, thank you so much. So hello, everybody. That is a hard presentation to follow. I unfortunately do not have the same props or accents to um, liven my presentation, but um, hopefully y'all will find some of this information engaging and important about Texas Wesleyan. So Texas Wesleyan University, we are a small private liberal arts university. We are located in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, the important thing to take away from today's presentation, obviously we won't be able to cover everything, but hopefully like some other folks have said, this can be a good introduction to what Texas Wesleyan has to offer you. If you are interested in being at a university that has that very small, intimate, close-knit community vibe, as well as really accessible professors, you're not going to be taught by TAs, you're going to be in small classes, you know, if you're struggling in classes, you're going to get help. That is the type of environment that we have at Texas Wesleyan. Uh, we were founded in 1890. Every single student who gets admitted gets a merit scholarship. And in total, we've got about 2,500 students. So like I said, really, really small school. Um, this is a photo of our campus. We're about 10 minutes away from downtown Fort Worth. So we do have that more of an urban setting than a rural setting. Um, and if you are familiar with the DFW area, then you know that you've got two major cities and there's lots to do lots of room for professional development, you know, if you want to get internships, research opportunities. Um, and of course, when the pandemic is over, lots of opportunities for, you know, engaging in the community for concerts, for food, um, for, you know, just living your best college life. So we've got three different schools at Texas Wesleyan. Um, I would encourage you to check out our website, texwest.edu, if you want to see a more thorough breakdown of all of our majors, what those courses would look like. And it also tells you what types of careers it can prepare you for. So this is our School of Arts and Sciences. We've also got our School of Business Administration, which we are pretty well known for because we have an AACSB accreditation, um, which I wouldn't expect you to know what AACSB means, um, but do know that it means only 5% of schools in the world are given that accreditation for their business school. Um, and uh, we, it's definitely something that's gonna help you stand out on your resume. And then lastly, we have our School of Education. So we've got a lot of different programs available for you. Again, if you wanna check those out on our website, please feel free to. An overarching theme for all of our academics here at Texas Wesleyan really is going to be that intimate connection with professors. We wanna make sure that you're succeeding and also experiential learning. So a lot of our majors actually require things like internships or research because we wanna make sure that once you graduate from Texas Wesleyan, you know, it's gonna be about what comes next. We wanna make sure that you are successful, whether it is entering the workforce or maybe it is entering, you know, into further graduate school, something like that. So whatever comes next, we're gonna make sure you're successful. Um, student life at Texas Wesleyan, we are an NAIA school, division one. So um, we are a smaller school, but we've still got great competitive athletics. All of the athletics that you see here on this page, we do offer scholarships for, you know, even including table tennis. That's actually our most successful sport here at Texas Wesleyan. Um, if you're interested in trying out for the teams, you can go to ramsports.net 
and get in touch with the coach, you know, and just say, Hey, I am interested in your soccer team. Can we talk about learning more about the program, you know, seeing if I would be a good fit for the team. Uh, we also do have an esports program. So if you want to play competitive video gaming in college, right now we're playing Overwatch, Hearthstone, Smash Bros. Ultimate, and FIFA. So we've got you covered, and we do offer scholarships for esports too. Um, otherwise, we do have lots of different other ways to get involved, around 40 different other student organizations and growing each year. This is increasing. It's easy to start your own club too. We are absolutely going to be a campus and community that encourages you to get involved become a part of your campus, make friends. And, you know, like I've said already like three times before, just make the most of your college experience. Um, our freshmen at Texas Wesleyan are required to live on campus unless you live within a 40 mile radius and then you can opt out. So if y'all live close enough to Fort Worth, it's gonna be your choice whether you wanna commute to campus or stay on campus. And if you wanna see more of our housing options, uh, you can check out our YouTube channel. We have video tours of all of our different housing options. We've got plenty of places for you to eat on campus. Um, we are at Texas Wesleyan, we are always in the process of developing our opportunities and resources on students for campus. I think it's a really exciting time to be a part of the Texas Wesleyan community. Uh, and then I do just wanna break down costs real quick. This year for admissions, we're looking for a 2.75 GPA or higher. And if you have that GPA, then you're going to get admitted and you're going to get a scholarship somewhere between $15,000 up to $21,000 per year. So like I said, every student who gets admitted will get a merit scholarship. It's just a question of how much. Uh, and then the next biggest part of your financial picture is going to be your financial aid, which will consist of your grants, loans, and work study. So um, I know that private schools folks do tend to think that it does cost more, but oftentimes that difference in cost can often be made up for in scholarships and aid. Uh, and so, you know, Texas Wesleyan, like all of the other schools here, you won't actually know how much it costs for you to attend that school unless you apply, send in your FAFSA, go through all those steps, and then we'll be happy to break down those numbers for you. So um, these are just some quick numbers for costs. It is about 45000 per year for a full-time student living on campus. Uh, and we do have some other scholarship programs that I am always happy to tell you about. Um, just make sure that you, uh, if you haven't already applied, our application is free and there's no essay required. So it's pretty easy to do. And if you have any questions or need anything, you can always reach out to me. So thanks y'all. Thanks so much, Marissa, to you and Texas Wesleyan University. Our final presentation tonight will be from Texas Women's University. Welcome. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I'm sad I can't see your faces, but I'm still excited to be presenting to you nonetheless. My name is Tamara Coleman. I am an admissions counselor here at Texas Women's University. Um, the, you will notice that there is a QR code in the corner of the screen. If you have your phone handy, you can scan that code to request more information from us. If you miss it here, that's okay. It will be on the corner of each slide. Um, so you'll catch it in another slide. Now a little bit about Texas Women's University. We are one of only four Texas independent public universities. So there's just one TWU. We do have multiple campuses, which we'll talk about in just a second. Um, a question that we always get from students is, do you allow guys to come to your school? And the answer is yes. We do have a 12% male population. We are fully co-ed and we do encourage students um, from all genders, gender non-conforming or um, non-binary students to apply to TWU and attend if accepted. Our mascot is Oakley, the Texas Barn Owl. You'll notice Oakley across campus if you ever get the chance to visit. And Oakley is also in a lot of our social media posts. One cool fun fact that I really enjoy is that we are ranked number one in the entire state of Texas and fifth in the entire country for diversity. And so we really pride ourselves on being able to expose students to different races, different ethnicities, um, and different walks of life in order to enrich their experience as a student here. Another cool fun fact is that we are ranked 18 to one or sorry, not ranked 18 to, one, 18 to one. Our student to faculty ratio is 18 to one. Um, and so that means for every 18 students, there's at least one faculty member or professor. And so that means that our class sizes are relatively small. Um, we are a medium sized school. And so you will have the opportunity to engage with professors and meet with them and go to their office hours and really get to know them so that you can get all the assistance you need in your classes. 
a little bit more about each of our campuses. Our main campus is located in Denton, Texas. It's about 40 miles north of um, Dallas, Texas. And so you will still have a, a great ease of access to the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Our Denton campus houses all of our undergraduate programs and most of our graduate programs. And so our, our Denton campus is where first year students will be living and learning. We do also have a Dallas and a Houston campus, and those are for our upper level nursing courses and graduate healthcare programs. So if you're interested in nursing at all, you will complete your first two years at the Denton campus and then apply to the nursing program and choose between either our Dallas or Houston campuses. You'll notice that both of those campuses do look like hospitals and they're both located in the medical districts in their cities. And so students are exposed to that kind of medical environment so that they are most prepared once they graduate and are ready to find employment. A little bit about our application process. You will first need to submit an application online at applytexas.org. We do have a $50 application fee, which you can pay um, online or you can submit a certified check or money order to our um, processing office, or you can pay for it in person at our bursar's office. We do um, also require students to submit their official transcripts. You'll request your transcripts from your high school. And if you took any dual credit classes, you'll also request those transcripts from that college as well. We have weighed the um, requirement for the SAT and ACT scores because of COVID-19 for the upcoming school year for the 2021-2022 academic school year. Um, typically we would require those and you can still send them in if you've taken the test, but know that it's not required in order to apply to TWU. Now a little bit about student life. Um, there are tons of ways to get involved and be engaged on campus. We do believe in getting students as involved as possible. Um, so you can study abroad, we have a fitness and recreation center where students can work out, rent equipment, get training. Um, we have a 30 foot rock climbing wall. We have tons of student organizations such as student government. We have Greek life. Each of the councils are represented at TWU. Um, there are over a hundred active student organizations at TWU. So you can find whatever it is you're looking for, academic organizations, religious organizations, cultural organizations, um, sports, all sorts of ways to get involved. Um, you can always start your own student organization if you can't find what you're looking for. There are tons of campus events throughout the semesters. Um, students like to do service. Um, we have just fun events that students can take part in um, throughout the year. So again, lots of ways to get involved. We do also have a diversity inclusion and outreach office to support our marginalized or diverse students. Um, that includes our LGBTQ students, um, students who are undocumented, students from um, racially or ethnically diverse backgrounds. Um, and so we host events and have resources for those students as well. And we are a division two um, school. And so we offer eight women's sports and you can find more information about all those sports on our website. Now, when it comes to visiting TWU, we feel this is very important because we want you to be engaged with us even as you are applying to schools. We do offer virtual campus tours that are self-guided and you can do that at any point. You can just go to our website. We are still offering in-person campus tours. They are modified because of COVID, but you can still schedule an on-campus tour with us. We do offer online phone appointments with admissions counselors. Um, and so if you want to meet with an admissions counselor, you can schedule an appointment online so that we can share more information with you about TWU and our processes to apply. And then we do offer events throughout the semester. They've all been online um, because of COVID, but online Pioneer Preview Days and virtual events. Um, and we like to give away scholarships at those events as well. So keep that in mind. And finally, you can also connect with us on our social media pages, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at TWU Admissions. And we would love to interact with you there. Um, and we post lots of information for you to take advantage of. And that's my timer. So I'm going to stop that. There we go. Wow, thank you so much, um, everyone. I hope you guys had a lot of fun listening to it, being exposed to these five institutions. I'd now like to invite all of my panelists to turn back on their cameras. And I want to share your expertise with those listening. Most of them are going to be juniors, sophomores. We might have like a couple of seniors, but the majority are going to be juniors. So I am going to um, ask you guys, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we'll go round robin in the order that you presented. So um, Austin College, you're up first. Okay. Um, 
I would definitely advise you to be yourself and think for yourself in the college search process and college application process. Often students hear that it's hard to get into college and colleges are becoming more selective and all that. And they, they worry too much about being impressive. What we're interested in is the real you. So when I was a counselor, my motto was genuine is better than impressive. Be yourself, write about yourself, be authentic. That's what we're really interested in. As you approach college, don't assume you're gonna major in something that people tell you you should major in or do something that people tell you should do. Be yourself, think for yourself. Fantastic advice. Um, Kendall, yes, you're up next. Um, um, so I would say one of my main pieces of advice is, is kind of basic, but very important. Um, and that is to keep track of deadlines. Every school might have a different, you know, application deadline. Some might require all your materials in at once. Others, you can send them whenever you get them. Um, but I definitely recommend students, you know, keeping track of the deadlines for all the different institutions that you're applying to. An easy way to do that is just to use, you know, an Excel document or a Google Sheet so that you can see everything all on one page. Um, a lot of times your high school counselor might also have some of that information. Um, I know some school counselors have, you know, a whole list of all the deadlines for every school <laughs> in the area. Um, so definitely just kind of do your due, due diligence to pay attention to those deadlines, keep track of that, and try to stay, I guess, on track with all of those. Because you definitely want to get all of your application materials in on time so that, you know, we as the admission counselors can read your application um, and offer you admission support. Right, so just wanting to repeat the question and it was um, best advice on those going through the college search. Uh, very good question. My best advice would be um, make sure you pay very close attention to the order of operations. And what I mean by that is the college, college in and of itself is not supposed to be something that scary. What's scary about college is just one question. And that question is, why am I going to college? Um, you know, we can sit here and we can tell you what to do. Um, but the, the trick here is um, knowing how to do it. And even if we tell you what to do, how to do it, if you're not motivated to want to do it, it's just, you're, you're just not gonna do it. I get a lot of students all the time. I give them all the information that they need to know. And they never um, implement uh, what I tell them. Um, and they're always either late or they, they just, you know, things just don't work out for them. So I would stress that you understand why you're going to college, um, that you are actually chasing your dream. Because if you are not, then it won't make sense to go to college. I always say this, it doesn't make sense to spend money you don't have on a degree you don't like to work in a career field that you can't stand and then you have an early midlife crisis. So um, the idea here is to make sure that uh, you are chasing your own happiness and uh, with reckless abandon. <laughs> it's your life and you, you're gonna want to make the best of it. And that's gonna start with um, your why, your reason for being. Because I know we weren't scared to go into middle school or high school, we actually were excited, right? Um, we got our outfits set up the night before. We're super excited. But then, you know, when it comes to college, we're just nervous. Just figure out why you want to go to college. Once that is understood, all of a sudden, now you have the motivation to, to not only hear what to do from us as enrollment counselors, but actually grasp it and, and seek to understand how to get it done. And you just have the motivation to just take it all the way. Great answer. Um, what I would tell y'all definitely like a bit just more practical advice um, in terms of getting accepted to colleges. I would say one of the strongest things is GPA. Um, you know, just make sure to focus, you know, enjoy high school while you're in high school. Um, you know, keep your grades up as much as you can. Uh, and I would say for a lot of schools, GPA is often going to be one of the, the biggest factors in your admissions decision. And then each school will have different requirements. Um, in terms of figuring out which type of school you'd like to go to, 
Um, I would always encourage you to start asking yourself questions to help narrow your search. So do I wanna to go to a big school or a small school? That's a great place to start. Do I wanna stay close to home? Do I wanna to go to the other side of the country? Um, you know, helping you answer those questions, you know, you can go to um, search engines online where you can put parameters in, you know, and it can give you a list. So there's lots of great guides out there. Um, your college advisors or counselors in your high school are also also really, really great guides. So don't neglect them. They are there to help you. They want to give you advice and help you with the whole admissions process. Uh, and all of us here as admissions or enrollment counselors, we're also always happy to help you, whether you are just starting high school or you're about to finish it up, you know, any step of the way, we're happy to help and offer advice because at the end of the day, all of us just want to make sure you go to the right school, whichever school is, is right for you. Yeah, um, all really great points. And I'll add, um, of course, connect with your admissions counselor. It's literally our job. We get paid to help you. So take full advantage of us. Um, that's our job. Um, we want to help you. We're here to help you. And also, as you are figuring out what is the right college fit for you, because that'll be really important, you want to make sure you're going to a school that fits well with what you're looking for and what you need as a student. But make sure you're also attending events. Um, I think it's a little bit easier now with a lot of more virtual events, and I know there's a lot of burnout um, with virtual events, but you can get application fee waivers, you can get scholarships, you can learn more, interact with admissions counselors, even interact with students sometimes. And so um, I would say absolutely connect with your admissions counselors, attend any events if possible, and just make sure you are really thinking about what will make a college the perfect fit for you and finding the school that aligns with that. Wow, great advice, guys. I have one other quick question. We have to, um, we'll have to go rapid fire on this one. What is your favorite, favorite event or tradition on your campus? And we'll go in the same order. My favorite tradition at Austin College, sorry, I was typing, um, is the mascot, actually. Uh, for, I don't know, 120 years, Austin College has been the kangaroo. Uh, there are four colleges in the United States that are kangaroos. I think we're the only one in Texas. Um, the, uh, they became the kangaroos because of a football game very, very early 20th century. Um, school was visiting. I, legend has it that it was Baylor. and We wouldn't go near playing Baylor nowadays, but uh, maybe in those days. And uh, in, the, in the second half, Austin College rallied and scored a bunch of touchdowns and won the game going away. And then older lady in the stands or bleachers or chairs or whatever they had leapt to her feet and yelled we're hopping all over them like kangaroos it was quoted in a newspaper article in the sherman newspaper everybody talked about it it stuck we've been to kangaroos ever since we do not currently have a live kangaroo living on campus but there are lots of stuff kangaroos and kangaroo imagery everywhere that's a fun story Hey, um, so this is hard for me to choose my favorite, I guess, tradition or event um, on SMU's campus because there, there are a lot. I think we're very into our traditions <laughs> um, and traditional events. I would say though, my personal favorite, it, okay, if I was forced to choose, would probably be um, the celebration of lights that we have every December. Um, it's kind of like, a, a holiday, I guess, celebration, um, but it's also conveniently during during the last week of classes. Um, and so basically our entire kind of campus is lit up with lights everywhere. Um, students and staff and alumni kind of convene and, and um, there's food and music and candles and kind of all this fun stuff. Um, and it is a really great way to mark, you know, the end of the fall semester, um, before students, you know, go home for the holidays to spend time with family. Um, and it's still really, I think it has that, you know, warm and fuzzy community feel, um, which I love and I think really brings kind of everyone together and makes you feel, you know, at one within the university. Yeah. All right. So um, I've got a few favorite traditions. Uh, here at Southwestern Adventist University. One of them would happen to be uh, what we call the pageant. And no, it doesn't involve people in nice gowns and, and tiaras and things like that. But it's 
it it's during Easter time, and it's when um, the entire campus turns into like um, a village from two thousand years ago. Uh, and we put on a, an entire like live play of like the life of 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 Christ, and um, everyone is always wanting me to play um, Satan because apparently Satan is British, um, but <laughs> but that's one of my favorite traditions here. And everyone is wearing the little gowns. There's camels, camels. I love camels. And then there's um, there's little ghosts and and just creatures that you wouldn't normally see. Um, here in the states but um that one is really great and everyone everyone is is dressed up like really old and stuff so that that's one of them and then then of course there's there's uh, an event that we have called mimosa it doesn't involve any alcoholic drinks it's more like <laughs> the, the flower but if you missed prom like me i missed prom in my high school and mimosa is like a college prom it's a lot of fun it's really great i got the privilege to MC a few of our mimosa events here so that's really great Thank you. Uh, and I'll just go really quick. Um, we have a midnight breakfast uh, that we do before finals each year. Um, obviously traditions look a little bit different right now in the middle of COVID, but um, it is a fun opportunity for everybody to get together late at night and have you know a brunch at midnight basically. And who doesn't love brunch? Yes, and to finish it off um, here at TWU, one event that I think students enjoy a lot, especially first year students, is our block party. And so the weekend before classes start, we have tons of games, food, activities for students to engage in. We bring out Oakley, our mascot, um, and it's just a good time for students to interact with each other and meet each other and set the tone for the upcoming semester. Thanks everyone for joining us tonight. Um, as you close out, there'll be a, a quick four question survey. Um, please provide us with some feedback. Sign up for more sessions. There's two more hours tonight and um, several hours tomorrow where you can learn about a lot of different colleges in the same format. And don't forget, um, this was recorded and will be available for playback within about a week at strivescan.com slash Texas. Good luck everyone with your college search search and have fun.